Hi everyone, my name is Xadian, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a CSGO weapon skin for the game Counter-Strike Global Offensive. This is without Photoshop, completely free, hassle-free, uh, Botox-free, everything you could possibly want in a CSGO video. So, first of all, just I just want to point something out. On my YouTube channel, I have a video called How Do Cases Actually Work? It's my first uh, information type video on my YouTube channel, and I'm just getting a start to these type of tutorial things. So if you want to, head over to my YouTube channel and tell me what I did wrong or right on the video. I really want some feedback on it. But other than that, thank you for listening to that short little gay advertisement. And we'll uh, hop right into this. So, firstly... Everybody knows what Counter-Strike is. If you don't, it's an FPS shooter, and it has a community that you can make skins on, and you can upload these skins and have them published into the game. Well, today I'm going to be teaching you how to do that for absolutely free. No Photoshop, no pirated Photoshop or anything. Just two simple programs and your game. So, you're going to need these two programs, VTFEdit and Paint.net. Once you've got these two, you can start up your game, but I need to teach you how to get them first. So this first one is called NIMS Tools, uh, or VTF Edit. It's underneath the name NIMS Tools. So look up NIMS Tools uh, on Google, Google Chrome, whatever. I don't care. Uh, look it up, and you're gonna go to VTF Lib. Once you found this tab here, you're gonna scroll down to the URL for VTF Edit. Click that, and you can start downloading it. The installer. Don't you don't have to download the archive. So once you've downloaded the installer, you're good to go. You should be. It should be on your desktop, like mine is. Secondly, you need paint.net. So I'll go over to paint.net here. Uh, the link is getpaint.net. You need to get paint.net. It does not have to be paint.net. Let me show you what I mean. Don't click on this website right here up at the top. Click on this one right here, getpaint.net. And you're going to go to download. Scroll down past all the fake advertisements and click the .pdn link. Once you've clicked this, you can download it right here on the side here. So, you've gotten your two tools and you're doing great. Uh, this is the only two things you'll need other than the game for the tutorial. So now, you gotta get your skin. You cannot download skins off the internet. I don't care who says you can, unless you have an official document from the person saying that you can use their thing, you do not ever steal or use someone else's painting or drawing or whatever. It is against Steam policies, against many other uh, program policies, and if Steam Catch is using this, you will get a, an immediate ban on your Steam account, and your item will be either removed from the game or from the workshop uh, alone. So, anyways, I've drawn this here. I'll actually pull it up in Earth and View, so you guys can see what it looks like. This is called Nightmare Sketch. Uh, I made it in a little program I have, and this is what I'm going to be using for this tutorial here. So, first of all, you're going to drag this into Paint.net. We'll wait for it to load. Yeah, there you go. And once you're in Paint.net, you can do whatever you want to the skin. Uh, I usually don't do anything. I just let it be. So you go to File and do Save As. You're going to save it as a TGA file. It has to be a TGA file. So I'll name this Tutorial, actually. Tutorial. Awesome. So I'll save this to my desktop here. And pop that on the desktop. So that's my TGA and now I can close out of the thing here so I have my TGA boom now you're gonna take your TGA and drag it into VTF edit now VTF edit does crash upon loading in skin sometimes so it can be somewhat of a hassle I think they're coming out with an update for it but I don't really know at this point there it is so it's loaded and now that it's loaded you can go to save as and you're going to save it as a VTF file, which is the only file you can save it as. A VTF file is actually a file that the game can read and convert it to a skin. So I'll show you guys where to store that. Go to your OS, uh, parenthesis C colon, and go to Program Files. Go to Steam. Let me get down there. Go to Steam Apps or Applications, whichever way it is for you. Uh, and then go to Common, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, CSGO, and then bin. I store mine in the bin because it does not affect your gameplay, does not affect how your game runs or anything like that. So I'll store it in here under the name of tutorial. Go ahead and overwrite that. And now it's in our game. You're done. You are completely done with all of this here. You can actually get rid of it. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with this stuff actually. 
but you can get rid of this if you want to. Uh, keep the programs, just in case you decide to make more in the future. And I'll cut to you guys when I am in CSGO. Alright everybody, I'm in CSGO now, so I'm going to show you guys what to do to get your CSGO workbench open. So you can start working on your, uh, your beautiful little skin you've made. Go to options here, and you're going to go to keyboard and mouse. You're going to scroll all the way down, and make sure that the button, or the option, enable developer console, or toggle console here, is set to this little squiggly button. Keep it like that. That's what it's supposed to be. Now you can scroll up and you can exit and go to game settings and up at the top I think it's fourth down yes correct uh, go to enable developer console it'll be on no you need to switch it to yes so once you switch it to yes you're ready to go you can go back to your home screen so now press the button you've designated the console to uh, and I will type in work and once you type in work you'll see workshop underscore workbench you're gonna click that and submit. That will open up the workbench where you can customize your skin, try it out on different weapons, and make changes to it. So let's go to custom paint job, which is what I usually use when making a skin, and you're going to choose your pattern. For this, you're going to find the, the folder that you put your uh, CSGO skin in. Uh, for example, mine is the bin, of course, like I showed you guys earlier, and you're going to go to tutorial. Uh, it may not, it, is it not in here? Whatever, even if it's not in here, I'll find it. Yeah, it's right here. Anyway, so you're going to open this, and as you can see, it'll format it onto your gun. Right there. See that? that uh, not really. But you can change the wear on your gun here to make it look factory new, things like that. Uh, mine, like I said, this one looks like trash, so it's not going to be the best. I'll actually put this on the... Let's put it on the op. And you can change your view to a workbench or a green screen. Uh, I'm going to put mine on workbench for now. I'm going to pause it right there. So this is what your skin's going to look like. You can change the scale here to make your skin smaller and or larger. Uh, sometimes you got to make your skin a little larger so it's, you know, visible. So this is what my skin looks like. Uh, it's not a great skin, not a sexy skin. I'm not going to upload this because nobody really is going to like something like this. But uh, I'm just using this as an example. You can change the X Y offset and the Y offset like this, hold on, and it'll change the way the skin is rotated. You can do the rotation that'll also uh, change the way the skin is rotated. So I can change it diagonal, completely straight, things like that. Uh, yeah, so you guys get what it is. There's tons of different things to do inside of this uh, editor here. I can do show stat track, show name tag, things like that. Uh, and then this cool little button called variant you can select this and it will randomly give you a pattern of your skin as you can see my skin here if this were to actually be a legitimate skin would be really cool that would have some super low flow value look at that that's actually kinda cool anyways you can just do random variants and things like that and it will give you random variants of your skin so now that you've done everything you could possibly want to do to your skin you've made your child you've smacked the donkey whatever you're going to go to save. You're going to save it as a TXT file. Go into CSGO and then bin again. And as you can see, I have a bunch of different TXTs here. So I'm going to save it as tutorial right there. And I'm going to save it as a TXT and put that in the file. So now that you've saved your TXT, you can go to submit. This is where you're going to pop in your skin and put it in the workshop and make it look all good and nice. So I'm going to title it tutorial. I'm not actually going to upload this. Uh, just an example for you guys. And then browse, select an image. Uh, I'll, why not this one? Yeah, this is actually a skin I, I made called the Popped Cherry. <laughs> like three years ago when I first got that started making skins. I think about two and a half years ago, something like that. Right after skins came out, I started making them. And this was my very first skin, but <clears throat> that's a screenshot of it. So that's just an example with you guys. Then you're going to find your TGA file that you published. Uh, go up to your desktop and find that. I'm not going to do that right now, just for sake of time. Uh, your VTF will already be loaded in here. If it's not, just browse for it and find it. Then you'll accept the terms and agreement, and you will publish it onto the workshop. That is literally all you need to know to create skins. This is completely free this is without photoshop no hassle uh, botox injection free everything you could possibly want in a csgo video or csgo tutorial whatever uh, but yeah 
Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, like the video, thumbs up on the Steam Guide so other users around the world can see this, and hopefully we can maybe, just maybe, beat my old record. My old video got right around a thousand likes. If we could get above a thousand likes over time, I'm not talking like overnight, uh, over time, that'd be great, and I will catch you all on the flippity flip. Goodbye, everybody.